Hello students, how are you all? I just hope that you all are safe at your places. Now students, uh, as you all know that uh, your second term examination, they will start from 14th of December and uh, your assignments, your syllabus will be from uh, 15th assignment to 25th assignment. Okay, so kindly prepare according to that. Now students, uh, we will revise chapter number 7, States of matter okay now uh, as you all know that your second term examination uh, they will start from 14th of december and uh, your syllabus will be from uh, 15th assignment to 25th assignment that means uh, you have to prepare chapter number three the nervous system and sense organs chapter number five growth and reproduction in plants Chapter number 7, States of Matter and chapter number 10, Light and Shadow. Okay, now let us study chapter number 7, States of Matter. First of all, what is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Matter is anything that we see around us, be it scale, board, wall, table, chair, uh, a needle and as big as aeroplane, okay? As small as needle and as big as aeroplane. So, uh, matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Now, matter has three states, okay? It occurs in three states, solid, liquid and gas. So, whatever we see around us, they are either in solid form, they are in liquid form or they are in gaseous form. So, uh, solid, for example, scale, blackboard, table, chair, uh, wall, these are all examples of solid. And water, juice, milk, oil, all these are examples of liquid. And uh, water vapor, hydrogen gas, oxygen, they all are examples of gases, okay? So, matter has three states, solid, liquid and gas. Now, there is an interesting fact that these three states of matter, they can interchange, okay? For example, ice. Ice is a solid form of water and ice on melting at room temperature then it changes into water. Water is a liquid form. Then on heating, on heating liquid changes into gaseous form. How? Water on heating it changes into water vapor, okay? And water vapor is nothing but gaseous form of water. So, this is how uh, states of matter, they can interchange. Now, uh, let us study about uh, the three states of matter uh, solid, liquid and gas. Now students, uh, let's see the three states of matter, solids, liquids and gases. And uh, let's see the arrangement of molecules. These are molecules in these three states of matter. And it, uh, a matter, it is made up of uh, tiny molecules, okay? And uh, and the arrangement of molecules uh, in uh, these three states of matter makes them different from, from each other, okay? Now, uh, see the arrangement of molecules in solids. In solids, as you can see, molecules, they are tightly packed, okay? And uh, these are intermolecular spaces between the molecules, okay? These are the spaces or the gaps between the molecules, is known as intermolecular spaces okay so as you can see here there is no gap or there is there is no space between the molecules 
so uh, as you can see in solids molecules they are tightly packed and as you can see that uh, in solids molecules they are tightly packed and there is no intermolecular spaces between them so that's why they have fixed shape okay and they their shape doesn't change then uh, uh definite they have definite volume also because of the arrangement of molecules in them and then uh, they cannot be compressed if force is applied then they cannot be compressed also can this is uh, scale is also uh, solid and if i put pressure here like this then it cannot be compressed so uh solids they cannot be compressed and they are very dense also because of the uh, molecular arrangement in solids and then comes uh liquids liquids as you can see there are intermolecular spaces between the molecules as compared to the solids so they uh, do not have fixed shape okay and then but they have definite volume then uh, they are slightly compressible as compared to the solids uh, since their molecules they are a uh, little far from each other uh, so if force is applied then uh, the molecules they can move so they are slightly compressible and they are less dense also as compared to the solids then we have gases gases as you can see molecules they are far apart from each other and there is large intermolecular spaces between the molecules as you can see gap and so they do not have fixed shape okay then they do not have definite volume also because molecules they keep uh, they keep moving in random directions then they are but they are highly compressible that means if force is applied then uh, they can compress easily so that's why they are highly compressible so these are the three states of matter solids liquids and gases now after states of matter comes classification of matter now on the uh, depending upon the nature of atoms present in them uh, matter they are classified into elements compounds and mixtures now elements are the substances that are made up of only one kind of atoms for example here we have hydrogen gas hydrogen is made up of hydrogen atoms only oxygen gas it is made up of oxygen atoms only chlorine it is made up of chlorine atoms only okay so uh, hydrogen oxygen chlorine they all are elements then we have compounds okay compounds are the substances that are made up of more than one kind of atoms for example water water its chemical formula is h2o okay h2o so there are two kind of atoms that are present in water hydrogen and oxygen okay so this is so water is a compound then we have mixtures mixtures are the substances that are made up of more than one kind of atoms but they are not chemically bonded like water here okay water elements and compounds they are chemically bonded but uh, mixtures they are not chemically bonded okay suppose for example we have here water and sugar or salt or what uh, sugar solution or salt solution okay uh, this is the example of mixtures so these are the three uh, types of matter uh, depending upon the nature of atoms present in them